Hey YouTube. Today we're going to be mounting these 8 inch AR500 plates um, to 2x4s to hang them there so we can shoot them with a pistol on our, our uh, range we're setting up on our new property. So it's going to end up looking like this when we're done. So it's going to be there with a the compression spring so it can move and then reset back. Um, so first thing you're going to need is we're going to start off with a 2x4x8 by by and then we're going to cut that in half so we got two four foot pieces. Okay, so um, if you don't, if you want them a little taller than that you can get 2x4x10s by by and cut them in half to have five, five foot tall targets, um, whatever you prefer. This is just what I have laying around so I'm going to use it. For each one of these steel plates that we're going to mount, this is the hardware that you're going to need. You're going to need, and what I'm using, this is a four and a half inch long by one inch in diameter compression spring. I've got a six inch long bolt, which is a seven sixteenths diameter. I've got two seven sixteenths nuts and three seven sixteenths um, large washers or fender washers. To assemble the target, the first thing you got to do is put a fender washer on the bolt and then slide the bolt through your steel plate. Then on the back side, you're going to slide the compression spring over your bolt and then put on one more fender washer. Now in the board, I've drilled a 7 16 inch hole an inch and a half down from the top of the board. Now I'm using a 7 16 inch hole which is the same size as the bolt, so it's going to be kind of a tight fit and it'll have to, you'll have to press it pretty hard plus compress the spring to get it to come out the other side. With the spring compressed, you can push down on this board, compress the spring, put on another fender washer, and then go ahead and spin on your nut until you get the nut uh, down far enough that you can fit another nut on top of it. Then at that point in time, you can release it, spin on your other nut, and then tighten the two nuts together so that they don't lock, so they don't don't back out. And then this target is just ready to be put into the target holder and ready to be shot. Not much to it. And all this hardware I just picked up at my local uh, farm store. So you, if you uh, have a farm store nearby, or if you have a hardware store nearby, you might be able to find all these components. Well, here we are on the property down at the beginning of a new shooting range and here they are we just brought them down and put them in our target stands and now we got three metal plates that we can shoot at down here now keep in mind that these posts will be taking some damage on the shots that you miss this is just 22 but start shooting some big calibers these may not last really long so it's a good idea to always have a couple extra laying around so you can change them out Okay, I'm going to try to hold the camera in my left hand, and I'm going to try to shoot with my dominant right hand. See what we can do. Oh, that was a miss. Oh. And that's it. Well, there you go, YouTube. Have fun shooting.